here with my Ipsy vs. Birchbox uh, November 2014 video. I don't know how much longer my subscription to Birchbox is, but while I'm still getting it, I figured I'll do the comparison videos and then I'll eventually just be doing Ipsy. So this month the Birchbox is an HIV Birchbox, I guess, awareness. Um, it states that they'll donate $1 every time you share a photo of these facts with the hashtag share, share red, which is just shared, but they have capitalized the red part of it. So let's get into it and see which is better. Last month, Ipsy totally won for me, um, so we'll see this month. So I am going to start with Birchbox. The actual Birchbox itself is just a normal looking box. Um, by the way, I have a kind of more dramatic eye look on today. I got the Too Faced Everything Nice palette and I was just kind of playing around with it. I'm going to be doing a swatch video coming up this week, so look out for that. But if you're wondering, like, what's up with all that makeup? That's what's going on. First thing I see in here is a food item, which I never really like to see in a Birchbox because... I don't know, I live in Florida, so it gets really hot here, so when they ship stuff to me, it usually gets ruined, um, especially they've shipped, like, chocolate in the past, and it was, like, completely melted. Um, this is coconut chips, um, so I think they're gonna be fine. Um, I mean, this is, like, the bonus item, so it's whatever, but I don't really, it's a makeup box, I don't really know why you ship snacks. Um, the next thing I see in here is the Cindy Lou Manizer, and this is by, oh yeah, the Bomb. Everyone talks about this as like the perfect highlight color. Um, it's kind of cute. It's like a tiny sample, but they have like all the packaging the same basically, which is really cute. Um, if you have never tried this highlighter, then this would be awesome. I have tried it in the past like at Kohl's, um, like swatched it, and I don't know, I wasn't like in love with it like everyone else is, but I definitely will give it a try. Maybe the more I use it, the better, because literally I've seen so many people talk about it. Um, I think... Leanne says, like, she always says this is, like, the best one. I think that's her. And, um, you know, so I'm excited to try it, and that's a little different than anything. I've never gotten anything from the Bomb in the Birchbox before. Next thing I see here is Cuppa Cuppa Firming Tea Treatment Mask, and it looks like this. Um, this states it is made with antioxidant-rich tea, mask firmed, and brightened skin in just eight minutes. Um, it's cute. I like the packaging of it. I've never heard of this brand, but I am into face masks, definitely, because I have so many problems with my skin, and anything that can, like, save it or, like, make it better, I'm always, like, into. So I'm excited to try that. Uh, next is a Mika Nourishing Mask, and this is for your hair. Um, I've had several things from this company in the Birchbox before. Um, I don't remember if I actually even tried it, to be honest with you. Um... But I do like hair masks because I do dye my hair, so I like to repair it. Let me smell this. Supposedly, we'll see what it's made with. Sea Buckthorn Berry? I've never heard of that, but it does smell really good. So I will definitely give it a try. Um, hopefully, this will cover all my hair. I doubt it, though, because my hair is, like, super thick. But Next thing, something looks like you get at a hotel, like the little hotel toiletries. This is Gilchrist and Soames Spa Therapy Body Lotion. Sorry, I did not need another body lotion birch box. And this just looks, I'm sorry, this just looks like something you get for free at the hotel. Like, not exciting. Last thing in this box is a Cynthia Rowley Beauty Creamy Lip Stain in the shade Heartthrob. And it looks something like this. It's like the most tiniest lip gloss I've ever seen in my life. Um, long wearing stain from NYC Base Designer gives unbeatable moisture and shine. Um, I mean, it's alright. I don't know. Not impressed with Birchbox as usual. The coolest things in here are probably the uh, the Balm Cosmetics and then this face mask. The coconut chips, no. Okay, so let's move on to Ipsy and I've already opened up the bag for this month and I'm already excited because it's very sparkly. Um, it's not like the sparkles that you can actually feel, it's like uh, plastic so it's really nice and so they're not going to get everywhere. Um, it also came with a sample of the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics, and I've always wanted to try this. I've seen it quite a bit at Ulta, and I've always wanted to try it. Um, only thing that concerns me is that it's in the shade medium, and I'm pretty pale, so I'm not sure if it's going to work for me, but I do appreciate this sample, and I will give it a try and see, you know, if it'll work. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just in love with this bag, of course. So let's open it and see what we have in this Ipsy bag. I see something very large in here, which is exciting. 
This is Marc Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Hairspray. So I've never heard of this brand before, but I love Argan Oil and it's really, really nice for your hair. Uh, I'm just going to put some in my hair because I have these curls going on today, so let's see. It smells pretty good for a hairspray, to be honest. It doesn't seem like it's too much hold, like where it makes your hair crunchy, but pretty nice. I like it. And I've never heard of this, so I'm excited to try it. And I enjoy, like I said, anything with argan oil. So, oh, so far so good. Um, and it looks like this bag, it says it's Forever 21 Cosmetics for Ipsy. So I guess Forever 21 kind of produced this bag. And this reminds me of stuff they sell at Forever 21, so I'm not surprised. The next thing in here is Starlux Ultra Olive Eyeliner Pencil, which is really cute. It's all sparkly on the packaging. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me open it and I will see what it looks like for you guys. So here's the swatch of the eyeliner. It's in olive goldy color, which I think would look really, really nice with my eye color. Um, greens really tend to complement my eye color and I think this would be a nice alternative to always wearing black eyeliner. So I'm excited to try that. Um, next thing I see in here is a J-Cat Wonder Lip Paint, which is something that Lip Factory usually always sends, so I think I've tried maybe even this same color before, but these lip paints are pretty inexpensive, but they do work pretty well. Um, they're kind of like the cheap version of the OCC Cosmetics uh, Lip Tars, so if you're looking for something that's similar but not as expensive, I would recommend taking this up. So, I mean, I'll just put this in my collection as a backup because I already have a color very similar, if not the same one. Next thing in here is a CRX Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion. And, I don't know, I obviously, like I just said, I don't need another lotion. So, let's smell this one and see how it is. Gotta rub it on my arm because it's already because the ones on my hand. This one actually smells really good. It's like a clean scent, kind of like laundry. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Tide. <laughs> but it does smell good. Um, that, once again, don't need another lotion, but it's alright. Um, so I guess the Bye Bye Under Eye was another one of the products that was included in this. They just couldn't like fit it in with the hairspray. But the most exciting things to me in this Ipsy bag were the hairspray um, and the eyeliner and also the bag itself because it's so cute. I think you could like carry like anything in this. You could put like your change in it or if you're just going out you could have a sparkly bag. I don't know. Sparkles always get me so maybe Birchbox needs to add some more sparkles into their box and I would like it more. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys get Ipsy or Birchbox leave me a comment below. Did you guys get the same stuff as me? Anything different? Um, what were your thoughts? Which one did you think was better? I personally think Ipsy wins again so I'm not going to really be too sad when my Birchbox ends. I'm just going to be enjoying my my Ipsy bag. Follow me on social media, it's all linked below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!